All right, let's tie the foolscap method all together here and see how it works. You know, each piece works with each other piece. Let's say that we, just a few ravens over here. We're gonna, um, if we know the genre of something, let's say we know that it's a Western, then we know we go down here to setting. Well, the setting is going to have to be some kind of a landscape beyond the law. You know, on the other hand, if we start with setting, we have that landscape, that Mad Max landscape, we can say to ourselves, ooh, maybe this is a Western. And that will lead us to all kinds of other parameters we can latch onto. In addition to that, when we have, we know that this is a principle of storytelling, hero and villain clash in the climax over the issue of the theme. So if we have one or two of those and we don't know the others, we can sort of work backwards, you know, reverse engineer it and find out what the other thing is. Inciting incident. We know that the climax is embedded in the inciting incident. When Rocky gets picked by Apollo Creed to fight for the championship, the inciting incident, we know the climax is going to be Rocky fights Apollo Creed. So there are many ways that these things all connect with one another. And as you get into it, you'll see how it all works. Another great genius aspect of the Fool's Cap method.